If you're a programmer looking to earn ethically outside a traditional 9-to-5, there are way more possibilities than most people think, and many of them scale directly from skills you already have. But before we start, remember this. To change the entire universe, you have to be... All right, now we can start. One of the most popular starting points is bug bounty hunting. This is where you find real security vulnerabilities in real companies and report through platforms like HackerOne, BugCrowd, or Integrity. You pick a program, test it within the rules, submit a detailed report, and if it's valid, you get rewarded. Some bounties are only a couple hundred dollars, while others go into the thousands. And what's great is that even beginners can start by learning the basics of web security and practicing on safe platforms like Hack the Box or Port Swigger. From there, a natural progression is freelance pen testing. Instead of open-ended bug hunting, companies actually hire you to legally test their systems and deliver a clean, structured report. This type of work is scheduled, scoped, and paid up front, which makes the income more predictable. Many freelancers start by getting basic cybersecurity certifications or showcasing previous findings. You might test a startup's API before launch, identify weaknesses, and present a remediation plan. It's ethical, it's high demand, and it pays well. Another strong direction is freelance software development. This is one of the most stable ways programmers make money online because the demand is constant. Whether it's building websites, prototypes, custom tools, or automations, businesses need people who can simply get things done. Platforms like Upwork, TopTal, and Fiverr Pro have clients actively looking for developers. You might build a small booking app for a local business or create a simple automation that saves someone hours of work each week. These small projects often turn into repeat clients, but if you prefer infrastructure over coding interfaces, Freelance DevOps or cloud work is an underrated but lucrative path. Companies need people who can set up CICD pipelines, configure servers, harden systems, or deploy apps to AWS, Azure, or GCP. And these don't always have to be giant enterprise projects. Sometimes a startup just needs Dockerization, a GitHub Actions pipeline, or a basic Kubernetes deployment. One solid setup can pay a few hundred dollars, and the maintenance work adds recurring income. Freelance mobile app development is also still huge. Tons of founders want to launch an MVP or a simple app for their business. Thanks to frameworks like Flutter and React Native, you can build for both iOS and Android without writing two separate apps. A small appointment booking app, a loyalty program, or even a basic delivery app can easily be a paid project. And clients often come back with updates or opportunities to work with their friends in the same business, which creates an ongoing relationship and widens your network. Another highly profitable but often overlooked niche is API integration. Businesses constantly need their their internal systems or SaaS tools to talk to each other, and most of them don't know how to do it. You might integrate Stripe with Notion, connect WooCommerce to Google Sheets, or sync HubSpot with a company's CRM. These projects are usually quick but extremely valuable because they automate tedious workflows and prevent manual work. And if you prefer working on websites, WordPress and Shopify development remain some of the most consistent income streams for programmers. Companies need e-commerce stores, landing pages, custom themes, plugins, speed improvements, and migrations. You might help a business move their old site to a new theme or build a custom checkout flow. These are practical projects with real business impact, and clients are willing to pay well for them. You can also earn money by building open source tools, believe it or not. With platforms like GitHub Sponsors and Open Collective, developers can monetize projects that the community finds valuable. You might release a useful CLI tool, a debugging helper, or a small library, and once people rely on it, they can sponsor you monthly. It's a slow build, but it can turn into meaningful income over time. Another ethical way to earn is one-on-one -on -one coding mentorship or coaching. Platforms like Code Mentor and Mentor Cruise let experienced developers help beginners or junior engineers solve problems, debug code, or prepare for interviews. If you enjoy teaching, this is one of the most rewarding ways to make money. You might help a student build their first full-stack project or walk someone through a tricky bug during a live session. And finally, consider creating VS Code extensions. Developers love tools that improve their workflow, and good extensions get installed by thousands of people. You can monetize them with premium features, licensing, or sponsorships. Whether it's a formatter for a niche language, a productivity tool, or a theme with advanced features, extensions are a surprising but valid way to create passive income. But in order to be able to earn real money from programming, you have to have strong coding skills. And you can achieve that by making awesome projects using today's sponsor, Code Crafters. They are the most rated GitHub repo, and that's for a good reason. Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check! Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave.